So, do you want to get runes not just for the Ring of Power, but also weapons and armor to augment your deadly abilities to god cheat mode, like godlike and, uh, well, almost just totally OP awesomeness? Well, stay tuned, because this is another daily episode coming at you, Dave45, from your host, Hero87, welcoming you awesome viewers out there today to hear more of what we can expect in Shadow of War. As I promised, we're going to be talking about these runes as from yesterday. If you don't want know what I'm talking about, go back to the previous day and check that out. Check the playlist below, Day 46. But t today, we're talking about runes on Day 45. And as I promised, they do have godlike cheat mode abilities to add to your already awesome arsenal that you've been upgrading with gems and various unlock attributes and so on. And this is all compounding upon your already awesome Wraith abilities and Predator skill trees, which we've talked about in previous episodes. So, now, what are runes? What are they for? Well, similar to Shadow of Mordor, runes may be collected from killing your enemies. And just like that, you can then add those runes to existing weaponry. Now, the cool part is that each of these runes can be stacked. And what I talked about yesterday was called set bonuses. And so those set bonuses, you're going to want to stay tuned and listen to what they're all about. But let me just get build up to it by saying uh, this. Just like obtaining other gear in Shadow of Mordor, we can also get runes for those in Shadow of War. The ring runes can be scavenged from the corpses of your military campaigns against Sauron. So that's how you get them, right? And so it is in Shadow of War. In other words, if you kill a legendary war chief, which there are such things, legendary, that's right, Legendary War Chiefs, they have a chance to drop, you guessed it, legendary runes, or legendary armor, legendary gear, and so on. After obtaining, as we're talking about today specifically, legendary runes, you can equip it to the ring for buffs like recover 20 health when the enemy is dazed, or get 5 focus for every kill. But the real good buffs are the ones like dominating an enemy reduces summon followers cooldown by 10 seconds. So, for example, this is really talking about if you need backup. So if you need backup faster, get that legendary rune and unlock it uh, and upgrade it upon the ring to get that awesome buff. And don't forget, as always, you do have to do various unlock challenges to uh, get these items. So it's not like they come right off the... Uh, burner what do you call it what am i trying right off the bat right out of the fridge right out of the oven you gotta you gotta actually work for some of these so just to you know sidebar that little option okay but that's not all all right there's more as i promised to tell you there's something called a set bonus now these are really stinking powerful for example if you get two of two runes that are of a set then all dominated grunts in your army Get this, they take 50% less damage. Now that's just one specific legendary rune, but of that same specific legendary rune, there's another yet set bonus to be achieved. Get four of four of these set runes. The set bonus will give you not only all your damage, your all of your uh, grunts in that you've dominated 50% less damage, but also all dominated grunts gain cursed weapons, which I know can block the ring's power. But I'm guessing it'll probably also increase the weapon damage, too. So that's really, really powerful, isn't it? Again, set bonuses do indeed carry over to all the other gear. So not just the ring. I want to make mention of that. But it is certainly the case for the new ring of power. And just as a side note, set bonuses are achieved by equipping more runes of the same type and set. So there are some difficulties and rarities of finding these legendary runes and it's not like you can just get these by killing an average joe work okay it's gonna take time but i think it's gonna be well worth it obviously if all of your grunts and your friends and your and not your enemies i'm sorry your allies have curse weapons it's worth getting isn't it not so each set bonus is earned by inscribing one to four additional runes of the rune set to get those bonus sets very cool, very awesome. Again, this is day 45 of the countdown to Shadow of War. Check back tomorrow because we're going to talk about something everyone wants to talk about. And that is Fiery Drakes. That's right. Going to have a fun time with that. So stay tuned for tomorrow and enjoy the gameplay to follow. Here we are back to the legendary grog fight. So if I do recall, the best way to take out the legendary grog 
is to, yeah, to shoot the skull. That's what I was wanting to do. Disorient, then dodge out of the way. Very good. <laughs> that is disoriented, all right. Attack! Attack! Oh, you kind of almost missed there, but nice, um... Nice, nice good shot there off on that. That was nice. Gotta wait till he charges, right? Oh, the ghouls. Oh, yeah, I remember he, like, somehow, uh, regains health by... Um... Grabbing the ghouls, I think. No! Okay, there we go. Sorry, you got a consummate here. No, you don't. I gotta kill these ghouls. Because he's eating them to replenish his health nuggets. No! No, no, no! Okay. <laughs> did. I did good. Right? I did good, right? Okay. Yeah! I just need to run and uh, get some arrows. Here's some. Good. Dagnabbit, you stinking ghouls! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 come on, are you gonna dash at me or are you gonna. I didn't do anything. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, no, that wasn't it at all. Okay, dang, nab it, more ghouls coming. Oh, good, okay, here's the, here's the moment of truth. Okay, we just had to wait for the little cutscene. Ah, that didn't work. Here we go, here we go, here we go, baby! Yeah, now! Okay! Let's... Let's do it. Let's do this. Take his health down. Stab to the breast of heartiness! Okay. So that should be maybe one or two more and we're done. Bad grogs? No! Bad? Bad? No, not grogs. I'm, what am I saying? Ghouls. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Too many ghouls! Oh no! No! Okay, good. That's good. Oh no, he grabbed me too. Oh no! Okay, good. Good job, ghoulies. Good job, keep spitting your nasty stuff at him. Okay, good job. Oh no, he grabbed one again. Oh, elf shot! Needed dag! Nab it, rabbit! Okay. Just one more ghouliosis. Okay, good. All right, we're back back to this scene again. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some more arrows, and then we're gonna go try to take this guy out, huh? I just uh, I'm faster than you, so <laughs> what can you do? What can you do when I'm faster than you? Uh, well. Obviously nothing. Just waiting for you to get it, you uh, know, you know, a little more angrified. Hey, what did that ghoul do? What? The ghouls are back again. Dag. Yeah, but I hate stupid ghouls. Is he gonna do the charge? No. Okay. Just waiting for it. Okay, here it is. There. Finally, finally, go run into the wall. Go. And I'll go and stab you again. Here we go, cutscene! Nice axe throw! I think he's dead. <laughs> ah! 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 Well, I 
what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what do you say? We put no, some no, shadows. No, 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 I have to do this on my own. If you survive, <clears throat> come to the Blue Mountains, eh? <laughs> Lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> What wonderful sentiment. Apparently it was his brother that died. Gained by the information we learned about the axe in the previous episode. I don't know if you noticed that. He said the axe was just as sharp as my father. When he sharpened or created it or whatever. So you kind of feel bad for him. And what an accomplishment for him to take down the mighty legendary Grog. So, fantastic. Moving along in the story, however, we just learned some information about Calabrimbor, Cal Calabrimbor, and uh, very cool stuff using the little chisel to um, put into the ring, the one ring of power, the famous phrase from Lord of the Rings, you know, one ring to bring them into the darkness, and in the darkness, bind them, you know, all that good stuff. Um, man, I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings. Are you? I'd love to hear uh, which one of the Lord of the Rings of the trilogy was your favorite or book. Did you read the books? Because they're great too, have to say. So anyways, looks like we're back on Karagor back. Back on to Karagor back. With the mission complete, with the bonus objective done. Very nice. So, Land of Mordor now available. All right, let's move right along. And the forces await your command. The time has come to launch your assault against the Black Hand. I like the soundy of that. So it looks like the story progression is moving right along, and we're gonna have ourselves some branded war chiefs to go in a fight with us. So we can't go wrong with that, can we now? One thing I did forget to do, however, was in that. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but. There in the uh, grog fight area, there was an um, uh, artifact. I don't know if I can go back to that place to perhaps get that, but I did see it on the map. I'm curious as to if I missed out on an opportunity there. Oh well. Go kill something. All right. Look at this. It's time to assault the Black Hand. Beautiful. No, I could be mistaken, but I don't think those are the same war chiefs. I think they had to be, you know, added in there for the storyline, and they're just a generic. The nemesis system wasn't that good. But it's still good. It's just not that good. Oh, what do we have here? Poisoner, huh? Mr. Fast Feet, what do you have to say? 
to my. <laughs> oh, the black hand is coming at you. That's cool with the skin action. Okay, so apparently he's my nemesis? That's fascinating. Uh, cool. Uh, how do I go to what? what I want to go see the... Back to the... No, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, okay. Exit menu. No, I want to... Um, I have it. I want to see Sauron's army, but I can't select it right now. Okay. No problem, no, huh? Let's see if we can't upgrade some stuff here before this epic battle. Let's see here. Um, I want some more arrows. That would be great to have. Um, let's do that. Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing to trade in there. Here we go. Here's some trade-ins. Very good. Very good. Convert. Yes. Accept. Convert. And convert. Okay, now let's check out the dagger. Oh, we got some more here, so go ahead and convert these up. I should have done this off screen. Sorry, it's kind of lame and boring to you viewers. But we got we got a we got a we got a purpose in the madness here. Seventy percent chance to try to five health on head explosion kill. No, I don't think that's great. Fifty five and grab and shank. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 29% recovery elf shot from a brutalized kill. We don't have brutalized, so that won't work. There's 55% chance of recovering fizzy health for each drain from above or drain brand from above. Well, that's not going to be easy to do, so we're going to go ahead and cash those in and see if we can't upgrade some abilitas. Yes, elf shot. Let's, let's get that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Now let's just go and see what we can't do here for this... Uh, Epic battle we have unfolded. Ah, I get too sensitive. I can't shoot that right. Oh, man. I turned it up too sensitized. Game settings, aim sensitivity. Bring that down some more. All right, that'll do it. Okay, and uh, well, let's go ahead and fight. This will be great, guys. All right, I like it. Go ahead and cut your head off. I'm gonna go for these, uh, gonna go for these archers back here, because, uh, those are obviously problematic. Oh! <laughs> head! Off your head goes, and off your belly and your axes go! Yeah, it could be a better life for you, sir. Oh, I don't think so, little man. <laughs> You're gone her. Oh, sorry for you. Let's just pick on this little guy here. Okay, little punch, little punch, little big punch. This is great. You got three of you. Who's gonna be first to die? Will it be you? Oh, nope, it's gonna be you. Berserker, tired of you. All right. It exploded. Oh, you thought you'd come at me? No, bro, you got her. All right, come here, nemesis. Finally, you noticed me? All right. No, no, I, I ain't killed. I've come back with a vengeance. Oh, man, you were flying in the sky, dude. You call yourself my nemesis? Yeah, diddly squat more like it. Well, this is it for you. Goodbye, fast foot. You're no longer my nemesis. <laughs> you weren't worthy of me, okay? I'm sorry, but you just ain't. Look, this kind of looks green. 70% focus after monobolizing, monobolizing people in the pin place. Not bad. All right, you guys just, you know, go do your thing. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, well that was a fantastic little bit of action, I enjoyed it, 
Can't go wrong with this awesome skin, must say. Well, if you enjoy this episode and the epic stuff in it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing because I'm bringing you daily content of not only Shadow of Mordor gameplay as you saw here, but also of daily discussions and tidbits and golden nuggets as I call them about information for the upcoming and highly anticipated game, Shadow of War. You know it, you know it, you know what to do. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the like. It really helps out the channel. This is your Rodney Summer, your host... Saint Sire and our sidekicks. Bye!